Now, are we progressing, Miss LaForge? About like you'd expect, sir. Splendid. Splendid. Carry on. He wants the impossible. That's the short definition of captain. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we got this article here from Deadline about Sir Patrick Stewart. And his character is Jean-Luc Picard in the uh, upcoming new Star Trek series. Which we don't know the title of, but it's supposed to feature Picard. And from what uh, Patrick Stewart has said, it's a... It's not the Picard you remember, which kind of screams back to what Mark Hamill was saying about Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. So if that makes you uh, feel comfortable, then uh, let's go ahead and get into this article. <laughs> so Amazon Prime Video has taken the global rights to the forthcoming entitled Star Trek John Luke Picard series. The SVOD... What does that stand for? I don't know. We'll air the Sir Patrick Stewart fronted series in more than 200 countries and territories outside of the U.S. and Canada. The major deal, which was struck by CBS Studios International, comes as CBS All Access original Star Trek spinoff airs on Amazon rival Netflix. So why? Uh, I, I think one of the questions that people have had is why is the Picard series not being shown on Netflix, uh, around the world, uh, probably because they're uh, they're taking on Discovery would be my guess, and they don't want to take that. You know, they don't want to take all the Star Trek shows. Uh, the show will air on Amazon globally within 24 hours of its U.S. premiere. It will see Stewart reprising his role as Jean Luc Picard, which he played for seven seasons on uh, Star Trek: Next Generation, and will follow Picard in the next chapter of his life. My question is: Are they going to follow the lore that's been established in Star Trek Online as far as Picard retiring to Paris? You know, are they going to follow that? Probably not. But um, it is owned by CBS, so there is an argument stating that what's in Star Trek Online is considered canon. But, I guess we'll see. The deal is a boon for the CBS All Access series. Uh, former CBS chairman and CEO Les Moonves said that Netflix's global deal for Star Trek Discovery in 2016 meant that the show was 100% paid for before it aired on CBS's own... Oh, Streaming Video On Demand Service. That's what SVOD stands for. Okay. Uh, the back end is becoming as big as the front end. That could be taken an interesting way. He told the Goldman Sachs uh, Communicopia Investor <laughs> Conference in September 2016. The new entitled, untitled Star Trek series produced by CBS in association with blah, 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 will also star Alice and Phil and, uh, and all that stuff. I don't care. The Picard Star Trek series is executive produced by Stuart, Alex Kurtzman, James Depp, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Hanel Culpoper would direct the first two episodes. Who? I don't know. Um, there's only one word that can begin to describe Sir Patrick Stewart as Starship Commander Jean-Luc Picard, and that's legendary. We are thrilled beyond measure to have him back in command, bringing the optimistic messages of Star Trek to audiences around the world. What was wrong with the messages before? I, th I think all the messages... I mean, there's like seven years of the next generation. It seems to me that they've, they've covered quite a bit. Um, and what kind of optimistic messages are you going to be providing in this series? Is it going to be like... Star Trek Next Generation? Or is this going to be something completely different? I don't know. We're thrilled to partner with CBS to bring the newest edition of the storied Star Trek franchise to our international Amazon Prime Video customers. With the incredible Sir Patrick Stewart returning, 
We're excited we can give Trek fans, both old and new, the opportunity to see him back in action. Well, you know, fans old and new of Luke Skywalker were excited to see him in action, and what did we get in The Last Jedi? Just saying. For 50 years, the Star Trek series have been a global sensation, spanning generations and audiences. It's an honor, blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, that is that. So... Amazon picks up the global rights, so I think it's pretty much safe to assume that we are going to be getting this John Luke Picard Star Trek series. I know there's been videos saying uh, there's production problems. Oh, we're going to get it. No, we're not going to get it. Has it been canceled? Etc. 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 Well, you know, if Amazon is is getting the rights, global rights to it, then that pretty much tells me that. The series is done paid for, just how Discovery Season 1 was paid for. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean the series is going to be good, but I am pretty confident that we're going to see uh, the Picard series. So, will I check it out? Yeah, sure, I'll check it out. We'll, 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 see, we'll see how it works out. Uh, but... Anyway, uh, what do you guys think uh, about this? Are you are you excited to see a different Star Trek series other than Discovery? Or maybe you like Discovery. Maybe you didn't really care for Star Trek Ge Next Generation and, and Picard. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Because I always like to hear from you and, uh, and talk with you. And other than that, subscribe if you haven't already. Be a part of the Killer Nation! And I will see you on another rambling video.